Hey guys, it's Braden here for gshelper.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, limit where you can touch and drag an actor on the screen. Uh, I'm going to use uh, this demo um, where you can actually pick up an object and move it all around and you can actually throw it um, and you can, you can do that. So I'm going to be using this. Um, and I saw some people asking on the forums how you could do this, so I thought I'd just go ahead and make a quick video. So, uh, it's really easy, and I'll just kind of show you how to do this. Um, if you if you don't know how to create a throwing object uh, in Game Solid, you can go to YouTube, and I believe there is already a tutorial on how to do this on um, the Game Solid Cookbook channel. Uh, so if you just search up how to throw an ob object in Game Solid, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll come up. Alright, so uh, you can do that, watch the video, create this, and um, in this rule here, when we touch uh, this actor, we're just going to add an additional additional con condition here, and we're going to say uh, when attribute self.positionx is um, equal or less than... Um, and we'll just do uh, 240 and this just means we'll be able to when we press play uh, we'll just be able to drag the actor on half of the screen so you will see okay we can uh, we can do this we're dragging it as soon as I move over here though it actually drops off and I lose control over that um, so let me do that one more time I can move it all and everything but then I lose control of it once I get past the uh, the midpoint or uh, 240 pixels so um, when it comes back over here though I'm fine I can pick it up again so I can you know shoot it everywhere I want um, so that's how you do the X position uh, and you can just put in you know whatever you want um, and whatever values you need um, now let's do Y we're just gonna change this to self position Y uh, is equal or less than uh, let's do 160 okay and then for Y we're just gonna go ahead and create an attribute a boolean attribute I called it used and um, uh, you can do this for X too but I just kinda wanted to show you what it does um, remember when I I have control here but as soon as um, as I go past the midpoint I lose control when it comes back over here I can grab it again but if you didn't want to do that um, you can go ahead and create a boolean and I just called it use like I said and uh, I'll just say uh, when uh, self position uh, let's do it for X again is uh, equal or greater than uh, 240 we are going to change attribute uh, self used to true. All right, and in the, in our first rule, we need to add another condition. Um, I changed that to y, but let's change it back to x really quick. Uh, and then 240, and then we add in, we need to hit the plus sign here, and we just need to say when self used is false alright I'll go ahead and press play now what this does is you're able to drag it <clears throat> but as soon as you go over and even if it comes back you won't be able to pick it up again because it changed that boolean to true um, so you can go ahead and add a restart button um, I'm not sure what you guys are gonna make out of it but uh, and and then you just set back that attribute to uh, to false and you're able to uh, to do that again. So let's um let's go and do y. Uh, let's change this to self position y and we'll do 160 just for fun. And um, we'll change this to self position y uh, 160 and um Oh, let's change this to equal or greater than, um, or else um, I was doing it equal or less than, so it was already in this area, so it wasn't allowing me to pick it up. So you can move it, uh, you know, wherever. You can bounce it over. Um, 
but as soon as you go up here you lose control of it um, and it will actually you know um, keep the speed that you were going um, but you, you're not able to pick it up again so like I said you can add a reset button in here that resets that attribute to false um, and so yeah that's about it guys I just kinda wanted to uh, do a video tutorial on it as I saw some people asking um, how they would do this on the forums so I hope it helps uh, I'm gonna be making uh, this available over at gshelper.com for you guys to download and um, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video